Hello everyone and welcome to another vlog. Today is just a very chill, chatty day in my life. I started my day as usual, I had my breakfast, did my morning routine, got ready and then started journaling. And as always, I'm using my journaling prompt book. I'm just brain dumping all of my thoughts. Clearly today I had a lot <laughs> in my brain. Now I'm just washing up breakfast. Good morning guys. I thought today I would vlog me trying to get back on track, me trying to be productive and actually get stuff done because I feel like for the past few days all I've been doing is either editing or procrastinating. So yeah, I'm gonna try and get a lot of things I've been avoiding ticked off my list today. I've already made my to list. Before I do the work that I need to do, I am gonna send these two cards. I bought two cards from the shop for my two friends. I don't know if that have been sent by the time this video goes up. Yeah, maybe I shouldn't spoil it. So I'm gonna write these first and I also need to return an Amazon delivery. People my age, people nowadays don't really send cards anymore. I love sending cards and I love receiving cards. So that's what I'm gonna do. Hopefully it will be a nice surprise for them in the post because honestly, yeah, people don't really send cards anymore. Like when it's your birthday, you don't really get cards. They just post on Instagram um, or they send you a message or they write on your Facebook wall. But you know, sending cards and stuff, and letters, I miss writing letters. Actually, I'm gonna write a letter to my best friend because I really miss her. And at uni, we used to write letters a lot. So I'm gonna do that, yeah. I'm gonna write these two cards, write a letter, and then go to the post office. So I got on and wrote my two cards and my letter. Let me know in the comments if you guys write letters or send cards because I feel like it's not a thing anymore. I absolutely love writing letters so much. I have a pack of like letter writing sets in my desk and I haven't used them for ages and now I get to. You know, people should write letters more, it's so fun as well. You get so much joy from it and then they get joy from it when they receive it. It's about an hour or so later than the last clip. This day has taken a turn for the worse and it's not gonna go the way I intended it and wanted it to go because I really stupidly somehow <laughs> in the kitchen rolled over on my ankle and I'm now currently on the sofa with a bag of peas over my foot because it's really swollen up and it's really painful and I can't really walk on it at the moment. So yeah, I'm just sitting here editing a video and I can't really do much and it's painful. And I really wanted to go on a really long walk today, but I can't do that. <laughs> it just baffles me that it happened in the kitchen. Like I wasn't even doing intense exercise or anything. And now I'm like an invalid for the day. <laughs> I got on and started editing a video. I'm having storage issues at the moment, so I'm having to edit on my iPad, which isn't that difficult since I was so used to it when I was away in Lisbon. Okay, I've done the rough edit for one of my videos and the rough cut of all the footage that I have. I'm absolutely starving now and I really need the toilet. And I, I'm hoping that my angle feels okay. I'm not gonna show you, but um, it is really painful. The peas are really, really cold now. Um, but I, I hope that it, it's better, a lot better. You guys, I'm making lunch now and I really didn't think that my ankle was that bad. I really didn't, but it's really painful. I literally can't walk on it. I can't put any weight on it. Um, I've been hopping around the house. It's been so painful going to the bathroom, come to the kitchen. I can't really go upstairs at all. Um, and I'm just, <laughs> I can't believe it literally happened. Me just walking in the kitchen. I just, I still can't fathom it. I really can't. I had pins and needles in my leg. And I got up to walk, I don't even know what I was doing, to go to the bin, I think. And then suddenly, my leg, I think because it had pins and needles in and was numb, it just, my ankle rolled over. I really hope it goes down by tomorrow because otherwise it's going to be very annoying and inconvenient. This week I'm, I'm having a specific kind of diet for another video, so um, you'll see that soon, but I don't think it's going to be much. <laughs> so, so far, what have I done today? I... As I said in one of my other videos, I've started to learn how to code and I keep putting off doing the work for it. So this afternoon, that's what I really want to do. I want to do an hour or two of the course I've enrolled in. I need to message some people about flats in Lisbon. I've been spending a lot of time actually researching places and rooms to stay and whether I want to live in my own flat or if I want to live with others. Yeah, because I don't know whether I want to go back to the same flat and I don't even know if it's available for a longer lease. So I don't know whether I should go back to the same flat and just stay there and pay more money while I search for a longer term flat or if I just for the, the couple of months that I go back in the spring and summer 
I live with other people and save money while I actually flat hunt for a longer term lease flat, if that makes sense. I'm really not sure. But then part of me also wants to do a homestay and stay with an actual Portuguese family and really integrate myself into Portuguese family life so I can practice my Portuguese and improve it since I haven't really been doing much here and just get that experience and have that experience of living in a homestay with another family and like volunteer and do like a, a work away exchange. That's something I'm interested in, so I'll be looking at that. There's loads of different options for when I go back, so I don't really know what I should do. Honestly, looking at rooms and flats and things online takes so long because you've got to search for ones that look nice, or are in the area that you want with your budget, and then you've got to message the people, and yeah, it just takes such a long, long, long time. Got to book train tickets because I'm going somewhere this weekend to see one of my friends. I need to have a look at flights back to Portugal, so I'm pretty sure I know which ones I want to take, but oh, it's really difficult because obviously they keep cancelling flights, and I need to book a COVID test, and it's just all really kind of up in the air because at the moment if I go back I have to quarantine for 14 days and again this all comes back to where I'm staying because if I stay in the flat that I was staying in before I don't know anyone who lives in that area no one can buy me food and deliver food and stuff for me and I would obviously have to stay in the house and quarantine for 14 days and you can't even leave to go shopping and I don't know if I trust the delivery services in Portugal and also I heard that they're really strict in Portugal with checking that you actually are quarantining like someone said that the police came to their house five times so I don't yeah I'm just waiting to see what happens with that too because obviously going and quarantining for 14 days completely by myself not having anyone to help me is a bit depressing and lonely so that's something that I need to bear in mind when I'm looking at when to go yeah it's just kind of confusing and, and messy to organize anything but I would ideally like to go back as soon as possible but I just have to keep an eye on the situation so i was just replying to messages looking at a few more flats and then i finally started doing my coding course which i have honestly been putting off for so long but yeah i did a good couple of hours of that and i found it really interesting and i always find that when you do something that you've been putting off for so long you actually end up enjoying it my alcohol is a little bit better but it is really painful when I try and move it and when I put any weight on it so I'm really hoping it is better tomorrow but I've done about two hours of my coding course which is what I wanted I've gone over the HTML basics because I used to know HTML coding back when I first started my blog when I was like 17 I know like I still remember the basics obviously but I've forgotten a lot of the other formatting so I've just gone over those which is really interesting and really good to know so that I can rejig some of the code on my blog which is what i would need to do yeah i want to start making dinner because i'm so hungry but it's only half full so i'm gonna probably do my arabic do you guys know what i'm really really craving and i was craving this yesterday as well i'm really really craving proper authentic italian food that i had back in rome like, i miss it so much there was the best pizza place i've possibly ever been to or one of my favorites ever and it used to be only like a 15 minute walk away from where I used to live in Rome and I would go there quite often even by myself and just get a pizza and their desserts as well were so good and they were the proper Neapolitan style pizzas with a thick crust and oh I want one of those right now I could do with one of those I used to get the Siciliana or just the plain margarita and I want one of them right now it tastes so good and then they had chocolate brownie dessert. I miss authentic Italian food. I really, really do. And like their pasta dishes. Oh my god, I went to there was this one restaurant um, near Piazza Navona, and I went there I think once or twice. And they had the most amazing, incredible truffle mushroom pasta dish. And it was just so rich and so delicious. And oh, I just want really good food. Really, really, really good food. Oh my god, I actually need to get this screen fixed. It's literally going to fall off. Um, I was just going to say, I don't know why I'm watching what I eat in a week videos on YouTube. Like, the video I'm watching right now is tasting meals from different countries. Like, why am I watching, why am I watching videos where they're cooking such delicious food? And I'm looking at it and I can't eat anything else today. Like, I should stop. I don't know why I'm watching them. I should, I should just stop because I'm only making myself suffer because of the lack of food i've eaten for the past three days all right guys i'm gonna end the vlog here sorry that this vlog ended up just being a very boring mundane chatty vlog and not really much happened apart from me complaining about my sprained ankle but i hope you enjoyed it I got a glimpse into my not so average 
boring day. I mean, I didn't even leave the house and I've just done nothing really. Um, but yeah, hopefully see you in my next video. <laughs> Bye.